Hi guys, it's Janixa and welcome to another nail lacquer therapy session. Hey guys, today we are going to be talking about Light Lacquer's latest launch. This launch is a quad and it's called the Tortoise Set. Light Lacquer did send this over to me in PR so that I could review it for you. So thank you very much to the Light Lacquer team. This collection is meant for you to be able to make the tortoise design on your nails. This is the packaging that the polishes come in, so it's really cute packaging. I am for sure going to display this in my nail room. I pretty much always do with Light Slacker's packaging because they do have nice packaging. <laughs> I did attempt to do tortoise nails. I wouldn't exactly call them that. It's my first attempt at tortoise nails, so I'm not mad at it. I'll go ahead and include a picture after I finish the swatches, and you guys let me know how I did. Go easy on me, okay? <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into the swatches. All right, first up we have Donatello, and this one is described as a translucent walnut brown. I don't know why this was happening but if you look at the free edge of my nail it stays rather white and it actually kind of happened throughout all of these swatches I'm not sure if it's just because the polish is translucent and my nail line is more on the intensely white side but yeah that was happening and it wasn't my favorite thing i tried to get as much polish on that little spot as i could but it wasn't really making a difference however the formula was a very good one and as you see you can get this pretty much fully opaque in three coats next up we have rafael and this one is described as a translucent rich brown with red undertones I actually like this one a lot more than I thought I was going to. That r brick red really kind of sticks out, and I really enjoyed this one. I also think it's cute that they did name these polishes after the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That was a cute idea on their part. I feel like after this coat, it starts to look a little more orange, and honestly, I love it even more because of that. Next up we have Michelangelo, and this one is described as a translucent caramel with yellow undertones. Now this one is the most sheer out of the bunch, so even after three coats, I could still see my nail line clearly. So if you're not a fan of being able to see your nail line, then you might want to skip this one altogether. I, I don't know how I feel about it, honestly. It, it makes my nails look stained and I really do not like that look so I'm on the fence about this one. And last but not least we have Leonardo and this one is a translucent cream with yellow undertones. If you did not get or you got the advent calendar from last year and saw uh, Got You Cookie and liked it, this one is pretty close to it. It could be a good enough dupe for Got You Cookie. I don't mind this one at all. It's a really pretty color. It does have a good formula. You will need three coats to reach full opacity because it is translucent. Um, no problems here with this one at all. It's a pretty color. Alright guys, here's my attempt at tortoise nails. I think I failed, but I still like the result. <laughs> All right, there you have it guys, swatches of the new Lights Lacquer Tortoise set. What did you think of this? Do you think this is a cute concept? I do think it's a cute idea and I like the names that they chose. That was also a very cute idea. Personally, I'm not a big fan of jellies, but I do like that you can build these up to full opacity, some of them, I think all but one, you can build up to full opacity. So I'm okay with that. And also the fact that they're neutrals, you know, it's what most people go for. So I'm not mad at this collection. It's it's a cute one. Um, do I think you need to run out and get it? 
right away no you probably have a lot of dupes in your collection for these polishes already you probably have dupes in your collection from light slacker already because some of these polishes are rather similar to their existing polishes the only difference is that these are jellies and most of the polishes that you might be thinking about from their line are creams so really it's just going to come down to your preference but formula wise there's absolutely nothing wrong with these polishes they all perform really really well and you know the result on your nails is a good one all right guys that's going to be it for this video thank you so much for watching please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video bye Thank you.